David the Bruce and we have got an amazing film for you today. Amazing because of the woman who's in it. On today's Jungle Queens we bring you Bawanga Bawanga, the White Sirens of Africa. Woo, man, if that ain't enough to get you to pay admission at the door of a theater, I don't know what would in 1951. Now these uh, uh, Jungle Queens were all the rage back then, you know, in the 40s and the 50s, all kinds of Jungle Queen movies, which is what we celebrate on this one here. We're just trying to call attention to these wonderful women actors who uh, portrayed th these uh, Amazonian type women. And in this one, we have a gal by the name of Dana Wilson. Dana Wilson. Now, who's she, you might ask? Well, um, at the time, uh, she was married to a guy by the name of Lewis Wilson. And Lewis Wilson just happens to be the actor that played Batman for the first time on screen. So, the star of this movie was married to Batman. Ah, but it gets even better. We're going to go all the way to 007 here in a minute. Okay, so, <clears throat> during that time, she just happened to meet this guy selling Christmas trees, trying to scrape together some extra money. Yeah, and I don't know, there was just something clicked between them. And then, oh, what was it, 12 years or 13 years later after the marriage with uh, Batman didn't work out, <laughs> she's at a party and the Christmas tree sales guy and her meet again. It was like, like, didn't, haven't I seen you before? And I know, it's a famous old line. Where do I know you from before, you know? No, they had really met. And it was like, they felt it was their destiny that they should get together. And they did. His last name was Broccoli. Have you ever seen a Batman film? I mean, <laughs> have you ever seen a double... I can't get Batman out of my mind. Have you ever seen a 007 film? Ian Fleming's... James Bond 007 films. Have you ever noticed the producers' names that come up? It's them! They bought the rights to Ian Fleming's uh, James Bond series. And, they, the, and the family has been doing it ever since. Now, she died at age, I think it was, was it 82 or 92? Is it 82? And uh, her daughter, Barbara, has carried it on. So when you see a James Bond movie, just look, look for that broccoli name, any of them, from the beginning to now. And that was the first significant thing that uh, she and her new husband did together. And they also bought Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, yeah, which was also done by Ian Fleming. So, holy cow, you know, you just, you just never know. I mean, speak about destiny. <laughs> and she's also doing this film about women in leadership. Speak about destiny. Oh, my gosh. Well, anyways. Let's watch. Here we go. Africa, dark, mysterious continent, land of vast horizons, jungles, lakes, and mountains, of arid deserts and raging rivers, the Congo, Nile, the Zambezi, land of big game, the lush, savage life of the tropics, land of wild native tribes, of strange cults and ceremonies. Many weird stories have come out of Africa. Some are the creation of man's imagination. Others are true. This is the story of a small hunting expedition 
perhaps the strangest of them all. Is it fact or is it fiction? Who can say? like some big affair, Kirby. Sir, are we hunting big game or do you want to watch a bunch of natives? What do you think it's all about? No, oh, I don't know. Those natives will get excited about anything. Come on. Okay, Zunga, let's go. Let's go.
all counts, Farfu Chile, we'd better start unpacking. You know what I got in here? No, bite what? Look. Fireworks, what for? For the natives. We'll have a lot of fun, you know? I bet that they've never seen fireworks before. We'll try them out on the way back, huh? <laughs> you ever gonna grow up Sparrow Chili? I hope not. Who wants to be an old jerk? I'd rather be a young one. <laughs> <laughs> He come! He come! What are you talking about, Sunga? Who's coming? Gorilla! Send a big one! That way! Hey, Hey, Come on, let's go, boy! Like George, where'd he come from? Him Trip, my friend. You think he was molded by the gorilla? No, I don't think so. He's just passed out, that's all. Poor fellow. Let's get him back to camp. Lend a hand, boys. Take it easy now. Around here. I think he's coming too. Give him a little swallow of that water. Yeah, give me. Hey, take a little bit of this. No, no, no. Let him eat now. Ulama. What's that, old man? Ulama. I didn't get that. Ulama. Easy, old man. Ulama. Steady. Steady. Ulama. Ulama. White. Sirens of Africa. Do you know what he's talking about, Sunga? What's all this Ulama business? Sungu no talk. You no talk. Bad for man talk too much. What's the matter? Are you crazy? Sungu no crazy. Me scared. Scared of what? Sungu no talk. you gonna look in that mirror? I finished. Hey, look at Trent. Yeah, he looks all right, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> hey, those clothes that Sunga got for you, they fit pretty well, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> well, fellas, I certainly can't thank you enough for what you've done for me. No, not at all, Trent. Pleasure having you with us. Well, I've imposed upon you fellas long enough. I'll be on my way today. Where are you going? What's your hurry? And you never told us what happened to you. Yeah, what's the story on that, Trent? Well, I do owe you an explanation. It might sound fantastic, but here it is. Oh, thanks, Kirby. Years ago, when I was a boy, my father brought me to Africa. I want to tell you about one remarkable day of my life. It began with excitement and ended in near tragedy. I lived in the midst of the jungle, surrounded by wild beasts and scarcely less wild natives. In such surroundings, almost anything was possible. The unexpected was always happening, and it was often dangerous.
that sprang on the roof. Clawed at the snake, and it fell on the floor. Then, terrified and confused, we climbed up on the roof. was over, my two playmates went back to the village. Just outside the cabin was a small enclosure where I kept my pet rabbit. I was anxious to see if it was safe. The little creature was perfectly all right. After my mother's death, my father had taken to drink. Well, that day, he returned to our cabin in an ugly mood. He made me drop the rabbit and go to the cabin with him. He said it was dangerous outside. The natives had just told him that the ulama were moving in to attack the neighboring village. He left the cabin. For a moment, I remained, not knowing what to do. Then I followed him. It was then that I had this strange experience, something that I shall never forget. I saw her. You saw who? The Ulama. The who? One of the legendary white sirens of Africa. She was a vision of, of womanly loveliness. The most gorgeous creature I'd ever seen. She who gave that strange war cry. Then I saw another woman warrior dart through the brush after my father. The ulama held a sling in one hand. Before I could warn my father, she hurled a rock at him. He fell to the ground. settlement, afraid, yet fascinated. On the hilltop stood the ulama whom I first saw. No one dared approach. Everyone was terrified. The head medicine man immediately began one of his weird ceremonies to propitiate the tribal gods so they would drive off the evil ulama. They sacrificed animals. They 
bowed down low to their gods. They danced in wild frenzy. This lasted far into the night. Well, gentlemen, that was the last native ceremony I saw in Africa when I was a boy. I was taken back to the States. All through the years, I couldn't forget about those ulama. Say, did you ever see any of those white sirens again? Yes, I did. Well, tell us about it. Tell us about it. Yeah. I've heard of such a legend myself. Go on. Well, a few weeks ago, I organized a safari and was soon on my way to the interior. Several days we used a trail. Then we went through the trackless jungle. There was plenty of game around, but I was after other game, more important game. We decided to stop and camp for the night. Then I heard the same weird cry that had come to me from that hilltop years ago. And I saw a woman, one of the ulama, standing there. I ran toward her. I heard a burst of laughter. spear embedded itself in the ground within an inch of me. I clambered to my feet in a hurry. My revolver was gone. I hid in the brush. Then I saw another woman looking for me. I decided I'd better leave that vicinity. I wandered through the wilderness. I tried to make out which direction the natives had taken. I stumbled on and on. I forgot all about the ulama. I had but one thought, to satisfy hunger. All at once I saw you in the distance. I recognized Sungu and the other two natives.
Desperately, I made my way through the underbrush. I cried out for help, but you didn't hear me. As soon as I get another expedition together, I'm going back. I'm going on until I find the Ulama. Good for you. Brother, you're looking at your other expedition right here. Hey, kid? Yes, Father. Are you both serious? It's dangerous. Dangerous? As long as there is women there, lead us to them, boy. <laughs> hey, on one condition. I get all the blondes and the redheads, you can have the brunettes, and we'll leave the rest for a sparrow for chili. <laughs> what? Hey, you can... <laughs> I'd say. And plenty high. Let's go. There's where I camped last time. Yeah, I can see it all right. And here's where the porters ran away on me. Won't happen this time. Where exactly is the plateau? There's the plateau up there. Straight ahead, huh? Let me take a shot at that spar for Chile. Pretty inaccessible, Trent. Well, we'll camp here for the night and decide what to do tomorrow. Yeah, let's stay here for the night. Yeah, we need the rest. We'll have a big job to do tomorrow. Say, I didn't notice any woman up there. Yeah, we'll have to climb up there first, Count. Take it easy, Count. You'll see him soon. Where in the... Sunga. Sunga! Ulama! You wouldn't have been. Let's camp over there. camp here for the night. Okay with me. Yeah, it suits me. Hey, I see a deer. We'll have a meet for the night.
Look at the chain. Help! You can do this to me. You can do this to me. Let me go. Let me go. Man, now just for the record, let me go. You can do this to me. Let me go. Come on, Johnny's in trouble. Let's go get him. Yeah. <laughs> Must be that woman around here. Me, queen. Queen? Me too. White man talk. Me talk. White man talk. Two. What name you? Haba. Haba Mazika. You queen? Double birth myself. Permit me. Count Michelangelo Sparafucile, the revolto Rovinci de Potenza Basilicata, Junior, at your service. You're weak, man. You're no good. No good? I'm strong. <laughs> we dance for fire god. Fire god want weak, man. We burn you. Me? Burn us. Oh, no. Come no. on, Come <laughs> on. 
skin natives got here anyway. Where'd they come from? Where are their men for? Yeah, that's something to worry about. You know, there are old legends that say that in the early days, the Goths and Vandals came to Africa. I wonder. Our lives are in danger, and you talk about ancient history. I don't care where these monstrosities came from. I care even less about their husbands. All they want to do is get out of here. Another chance. Look over there. Fall for a little masculine charm. Now uh, let's not rush it, Kirby. Let's see what develops. Ah, no, Benza. The Benza. Oh, not gonna Benza to you. Ah, gonna Benza.
in time. Say, uh, beautiful, what's the chance of getting out of here? Hey, Trent, what if this is poisoned? Well, I guess we can't take any chances. Ah, you alarmist. Good enough for me. Hey, cut that out. You embarrass me. Oh, it's good for three dollars. Everybody wants to fool around with my hair. Women. Now I have to comb it again. Boy, don't do what are you trying to do. You trying to break it and bring seven years hard luck? What's the matter with you? It's not gonna fight. Look, it's nice. See? Pretty? Huh? Mm. 
she no burn night man. We get that. Hey, fellas! You can do this to me! Hey, fellas, here I am! This woman is she's her neighbor. She's ferocious. Shoo! Shoo! Ungaga, <laughs> You seem to have a lot of power around here. Lots to say. Send her away. Send her away. Come on, you're going to send her. Get out. We go. Oh, we glad to see you. What happened to you? Hey, you should have seen what they done. What's the queen going to do with it? You fight! <laughs> That's ridiculous. Imagine fighting a woman. I'm a gentleman. I refuse. In our country, uh, men no fight women. Queen won't burn. You, 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 husband. Mm, maybe we no burn. Win, Kirby, or we fry. Oh, good luck, Kirby. Yeah, with the looks of her, I'm gonna need it. Come on, it's Dunga. until we can leave this place. You stay! Tomorrow, you marry Queen! You've got to 
have to let my friends go. You must. No. We've man give to a fire god. We informers. But the fire god doesn't want them. Why must you kill them? We no kill. We've man give to a fire god. We take strong man. But you can't do this. If I have to, I'll stop you by force. <coughs> <coughs> Come on, this is the copper. Fire guard, take with mine. Me, Michelangelo Sparco in a situation like this. Oh, my God. 
Hey, Goomba! Hey, Goomba! Hey, Goomba! No taking llama. You no take all husband. Me, boy. That tribe law. You bad. You die. That bad lie. We take knife man. getting away. Music for us, Jelly. La la la, 
la 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 Yeah, but which way do we go? Well, uh... Oh, Wunda! Hey, we're in luck! Hey, I'll die! <laughs> 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 <laughs>